r slash felons. Zesticlose Team 719 says. What is turning yourself in for 6 months in county jail like? What is 6 months in county jail like? I know someone who has to turn themselves in to serve 6 months in county jail in the next few weeks and they're really worried about it. They got 6 months for misdemeanor theft. What is the process like turning yourself in and what can they expect things to be like while they serve their time? Tallheed2688 says. Depends on your state. Jail is typically worse than prison in conditions and privileges. As long as you keep your head down and mind your business you really shouldn't get frick head with too much. If someone does come at you though you have to stand up for yourself whether you catch an aspirin or not. If you don't you'll be seen as a bizatch and people will try to take advantage because they know you won't fight back. Boon4242 says. I was sentenced to and spent 6 months in county jail in a large city in the south after never having been in trouble in my life. There was a sentencing hearing in my case, and when the judge gave out the sentence I was cuffed in the courtroom in my suit and taken to the jail. A little intake, more photos and fingerprints, then out of my suit and into jail uniform, with the requisite bend over and cough while naked, then into a small holding cell where I waited for about 5 hours. Then I was taken to my block. The judge has ordered me to spend the sentence on the medical floor BC of health conditions I have, but the jail ignored that. In my county there are separate floors for violent and non-violent, and I was taken to a non-violent floor block. The other inmates could tell I had never been to jail before BC I did things like stand in the restricted area until someone told me the rules. I didn't have any problems with any of the other inmates as I gave everyone respect and kept low, like sitting on the floor in the beginning instead of in one of the handful of chairs, etc. There were 12 small cells with a toilet, and one rack per cell, but it was overcrowded, so usually there was at least one on the floor. Around 6 every morning the lights came on and a buzzer sounded, and a voice on the loudspeaker told us we had 10 minutes to be out of the cell and lined up in the adjoining day room for morning count. There was no yard or anything like that, so you were in the day room with about 25 to 30 others until 8 p.m. You never left the block unless you had to go to medical, speak to an attorney, or were sent to a solitary room for punishment. Meals were in the day room. It was maximum security. Some PPL were there long term and others just a few days until they bailed out. One TV, but you couldn't hear it BC it was very loud all day. A lot of inmates were just loud and it reverberated in the concrete room. Mostly either played spades or lay on the floor all day. A pretty good many fights but nothing too serious. One day I was called out to get swabbed for COVID and learned that I was being taken to prison that night. The court order was 6 months in county jail, but the jail screwed up. So I was taken to the state classification prison and spent 2 weeks there until the jail realized their frick up and came back and got me. In prison we could go in the yard during the day, chow hall for meals, could smoke cigs and roam around the dorm any time. The convicts though were mostly spending long terms for more serious crimes, many violent, and it was a lot more dangerous than the non-violent floor of the jail. There was a man murdered by another convict in the dorm next to us the day I left. When I went to medical to get swabbed to go back to jail, the man's body was lying there in medical and the med staff wasn't the least bit phased, as it happens frequently at that camp. No murders while in jail, but about 4 fentanyl overdose deaths indifferent. Altruistic bit 9766 says. Former corrections officer at a large county jail here. A lot of good advice about going in with money on his books. Don't flaunt it, if you've got it, but if commissary sells something you like from the outside, that can really help you mentally. Also, be respectful of other inmates and officers, most people in county just want to do their time and get back to their lives, but truly bad people often look very friendly at first glance. Be polite and mind your, his, business. 
memorize the phone numbers of the people he'll want to call back home. He may not be able to access that information once he's booked, and officers can't get it for him. Most of us just keep that stuff in our phones, he needs it in his brain. Same with mailing addresses. We used to give indigent inmates free correspondence supplies, but if there's money on his books they'll make him buy it. Talking to or writing people on the outside helps people not feel so isolated. Medical's job is to keep you alive, and they won't do much else, so any dental or medical issues should be handled before going in. If he's on a regular prescription he needs to find out how to get that script transferred inside, so he can stay on schedule. They'll need written proof from his document. Don't accept favors from other inmates or you loathe them one. Take advantage of any classes offered as it'll break up the boredom and maybe even get him out of the unit for a while. R slash felons. Human Shake 9403 says. Third DUI plus child endangerment. My brother is facing his third DUI plus an added child endangerment charge, since he had his son in the vehicle with him. What should he expect? Happened in Louisiana. Fartsnifera says. A quick google of third DUI in law, shows he's looking at up to 5 years in prison, 30 days mandatory minimum, for the DUI alone. Adding the child endangerment, I'd say it's probably safe to assume he's doing at least some stint in prison for this one. Embarrassed Gur 7301 says. If it was my brother, he would expect to get his ass beaten by all of the brothers. Human Shake 9403 says. Don't even get me started. I swallow for you says. Sounds like they need to stop drinking. Constantine94 says. Probably prison time, unless he can afford a really good private lawyer. If he and his baby mama aren't together he'll lose custody of his son. If no family wants to, or is able to take in his son, the boy could end up in foster care. Educational Echo 618 says. Hopefully prison and a long time. In NC he'd probably get off, until he kills someone. My 5 year old was killed by a drunk driver. The pose is only serving 4 years in prison for her death. Totally Jag 2598 says. Don't know about Louisiana, but here in Cal he'd do a significant amount of time. Lord Voltimus 5150 says. You're not a Lagian and citizen, if you don't have at least one DUI. Peak Chungus says. Should never drive again regardless, stop putting other road users in danger. Clobzombie says. Well as you can tell by the roads we got down here they're not too rough on DUI. But it including child endangerment has probably gonna spend some time. As an example a friend I grew up next door to serve no time for DUI, until he got his 8th one then locked up for 10 years. Think he served 6 or so out on good behavior. Another guy I know, got out after 2 years ago, after spending 20 years for his 10th DUI. For Cuspia Zenus 2564 says. Hopefully he serves every bit of the maximum sentence. R slash felons. Formal Lingonberry 64 says. Phone calls jail. I have not been able to talk to my son in almost a week and I don't know when I will be able to finally talk to him, because he was not given a tablet when he was moved from the holding cell. I have called the jail they didn't know why. I was told that when they are moved upstairs they are usually given one, and it's weird that he hasn't been given one, and that they will make sure he gets one. Then next day I call, and he doesn't have one, and I call the next day and he doesn't have one. I have called and asked to speak to a sergeant or supervisor, and gotten no call. When he had court date I was told he had one. I have called Ike Solutions and they keep telling me he has money available for calls they should be going through. The jail says to call Ike Solutions. I called his public defender's office, and they sent a social worker, to check on my son, and he said, that he has been calling, and the calls won't go through. 
I don't know who else to call, or what else to do. I have gone to the jail in person, and left a note. Of concern for my son. His case is on hold awaiting a mental health evaluation. I have gone in person to his probation office and public defender's office. I'm very concerned about my son's mental health and physical health, and don't know if he is receiving any help or care that he is asking for. If the jail cannot even provide a tablet for phone calls, and make sure the inmate can make calls. I have called the California Department of Corrections to make a complaint about the process of tablets being used for phone calls in jails. I have not had a call back yet. At this point I wish jails still had a pay phone, because I would have been able to answer when my son was calling me going through the worst days of his life. As his mother I'm very angry that this has not been fixed yet. I'm sad that my son is alone and cannot hear from his family that we love him and be there for him through this. In 30 years I have never not been there for my son and it is killing me that when he needs me the most he is being denied the basics of a phone call. Formal Lingonberry64 says. Thank you I just pray that he makes it out of this jail alive. C Realizing says. Prayers for you and your son. Witty Molasses8825 says. I know you're very concerned for your son and care unfortunately, when inmates get transferred they can be held in something called the fish tank acker they are just in a cell 24 hours a day with nothing but their 3 meals a day. Calls can be very scarce during this period. If you can just send him some books, until he gets placed in a regular cell, that would help him, rather than him sitting in a cell with literally nothing all day. Mumbles987 says. I have been that son, those first few days are usually spent on observation for me. I don't worry about the phone too much at that point. Think of it like this, he didn't want you dropping him off in high school right up front saying bye honey, he'll be fine and sometimes you have to prove yourself at that point so just wait for a call thank you for being there for your son. My mother was slash is there for me, and it's the only reason I survived 25 years of prison take a deep breath throughout his imprisonment, before saying anything stressful. My mother exhibits the patience of Job, and she asked me to read it once in a while, when I got Winnie. Take care and be kind. Carter Lunolis says. Ask for the internal affairs department of the jail. They will be able to look into why he isn't receiving services slash items he is supposed to. Koch says. Okay I'm going to start by saying every facility is different, but in my personal experience, unfortunately I was incarcerated at a young age, and did over two years. I have a tremendous amount of empathy for your situation, and I hope my comment can give you at least a small amount of some peace of mind. Normally when you're moved from booking into an actual unit there is a delay getting your tablet. Basically when you're in an actual unit your son will be assigned a case worker, your son will submit his personal phone numbers that he wants to call to the case worker, and at some point, receive a tablet that is solely assigned to him. Using other inmates tablets is usually some sort of sanction. The case worker will call the numbers your son is provided and either approve them or deny them, your son will only be allowed to call these numbers. Unfortunately the tablet system in most facilities is a bit chaotic. Sometimes units slash case workers do not have enough tablet in the units and sometimes you need to wait for another inmate to either be released or transferred elsewhere to finally even get a tablet. The tablets are pretty cheap, and also break easily, usually the screen stops working, or the headphone jack just breaks. The facility usually orders them in batches, and getting a brand new tablet can be contested. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.